Hey you, this is Dallas Ann, creator of the Violet Pie, and you're listening to Knitting Myself Together. No, we have not time traveled. It is not the start of season two yet that is still set to drop on September 21st. Instead, this is me not being able to stay on track because I went to Stitches Midwest and I really want to tell you about it. I had a lot of abstract, intangible concerns, fears, stresses, worries about going to Stitches Midwest. It's a long and complicated story why I felt that way, and there is not time to go into it right now. The point I'm trying to make is that everything I was concerned about was proven to be 100% unfounded. The community and the acceptance and the embrace of my fellow people in the fiber world was amazing. And it just simply underlined the fact that this is the right place for me. The whole reason why I'm doing this, this designing, this publishing patterns, this podcast, this social media presence, is to find and create community. And you are there. You are out there. You are part of that community that we hold together. And I am just over the moon elated from this validation. So excited. One of the highlights of my conversations there was meeting Alice of Backyard Fiberworks. Her color artistry is amazing and mind-blowing. She provided yarn support for my Etta cardigan that I wore at Stitches. Pictures will be in show notes. If you're interested in testing this, head over to the Ravelry page, which is uh, under the Violet Pie, my designing label, and you will be able to see, hopefully here soon, the call out for testers. Pattern is with my tech editor right now, and I cannot wait to get it into your hands. Before I let you go, I thought I'd put a shout out to, would you consider giving me a call and leaving a voicemail that tells me what three words you think or three words that come to mind when somebody asks you to knit for them. For me, you know, it depends. Sometimes I think, oh hell no. And other times it's, uh, okay, I guess. But other times, if it's for a baby, like a brand new baby, I'm going like, OMG, yes, thank you for asking me, which is more than three words. <laughs> but if you would just drop me a voicemail, I promise this number goes directly to voicemail. It does not ring through. You have no fear of waking me or even having me answer the phone because phone anxiety is real so real. If you would leave a voicemail, I I would be forever grateful and you will most likely find yourself featured in season two, which drops September 21st. So that phone number is 971-704-9150. That phone number will also be in show notes. If you, again, just leave a voicemail, I'd love to hear from you. Also, if you want to hear more about Stitches Midwest and my experiences there, consider heading over to Patreon. Link again in show notes, but if you go to patreon.com slash thevioletpie, any level of generosity will get you access to all of my weekly videos that are called After Hours. I'm publishing these on a weekly basis during my audio podcast hiatus. This week, I chatted about um, the general overview of Stitches and did some show and tell. Next week, I plan on talking about the things I learned about myself and community and where I want to see my business going. So, there's lots of ways 
that you and I can make connections. Even just dropping me an email, striking up conversation, I promise I won't bite. And it would be incredible to hear from you. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter. Uh, you can send me an email, thevioletpie at gmail.com. And also, you know, online at thevioletpie.com. However you choose to connect, I hope to hear from you. Also, please consider liking, subscribing, leaving a review, starring, thumb up, whatever that platform offers feedback that you're listening to me right now. Every single little bit of feedback on those platforms is incredibly helpful. Thank you so much. I cannot wait to have more conversations with you in this format starting on September 21st. Until next time, you keep that yarn moving. <laughs>